Hey Turtle Squad, I'm Kamei Turtle and you are watching Turtle Time. Today we are talking about a video game series called Skylander. You might be asking why this video game series is very related. Hmm, I'm not sure. Let me think on that. Hmm. Okay, 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 enough of that. Hey! I said enough. Skylanders was released in 2011 by Toys for Bob that used a set of real figurines to connect to your play system, making this a uh, fun interaction. This game series lasted from 2011, as I mentioned before, up to 2017, and where the final whole game was released. Skylanders can be broken down into roughly 10 unique elements, tribes, family, what have you, which consists of life, water, fire, earth, tech, undeath, and the two newest ones were light and darkness. Starting all the way in Skylanders 1 with Spyro Adventure, yes, the purple dragon most of us are familiar with, was the main protagonist of the Skylander series, and remained so for the majority of it, or at least a major draw point for it anyway. <laughs> with each series introducing a new mechanic or gimmick. Second series, Giants introduced larger sized characters and smaller sized characters called mini. Size comparisons shown here. The one in the middle of the standard Skylander. In that game, you need a giant and a mini to get into certain areas of the game. And the next release, we got Swap Force, where you, you had the ability to change out the tops and bottoms of said Skylanders to give you additional movement action, from climbing abilities to flight, or just ability to crush stuff. Example shown here, the four set and the one I got in on was the Trap Master. This series had it where you had some Skylanders with crystalline weapons who were able to trap the villains in the series into crystals and with a unique gimmick where you could then use uh, the villains you trapped to fight alongside you. The next series after that was the Superchargers. Introducing vehicles, flight, boats to get fast water movement and of course cars. The final set was Imaginators. This one allowed you to build your own Skylanders. But in my personal opinion, that's where they end up failing. Because half the fun for me at least was collecting all the different Skylanders that they put out. Now you don't have to collect them all. You could easily beat the game only with the two they give you when you buy the Star Pack. But if you want to clear out the game 100%, you needed to have one for each element. As there were unique areas, locked behind elemental gates. In 2016, Netflix started up a cartoon series called Skylanders Academy that featured the different Skylanders, primarily the core team consisting of Spyro, Delph Elf, Jet Fat, Trigger Happy, and Pop Fizz as being the main core character. Kind of fitting that they were the core since they were the major characters for the first game. That series lasted for three seasons of 2016, 2017, and 2018. Now, if Skylanders Academy sounds familiar to you, that's because I included that on my top 10 fairy shows list, linked in the comments below. Now I'm going to tell you some of the perks of the Skylanders. There's of course the gameplay aspect, but even if you didn't want to play the game, there's other aspects to it, like being able to collect them and keeping them in their package just for collector's sake. Collecting variants of the characters, including store exclusives or holiday specials, or just clicking the figurines just to have a play the item, because let's face it, we love to play with them anyway. <laughs> Once again, you could actually just beat the game with the starter set they gave you. You could go out and buy only one of each character, and the best part was they were forward compatible. So you only had to buy a complete set one time and then just keep bringing them into the new game. I know this one was a bit strange, but hey, I found it interesting. I thought you might as well. 
If you got any other topics you want me to tackle in the future, let me know in the comments below. This series had a couple of fun turtle characters in it as well. And speaking of turtle characters, if you want to see my personal top 10 character list, well, you can see that in the cards above and description below. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw and I want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share it with friends, family, other birds you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!